Do we have any talks? Oh, boy. What? Yeah. Don't say it like what that. What was your most painful tattoo? Honestly, it varies by the day. Sometimes different places feel different depending on where I'm at, it feels like. But probably the lower back or maybe the first time I had my fingers blacked out. That was a really traumatic experience. I always remember that day. So for me, the ones that form the biggest memory, probably the most painful ones. It's cool. These are guys that are completely blacked out, like white guys that are painted black with tattoos, and they're talking about how it's painful. Mm -hmm. Moving on. Whenever I'm deciding whether my video is good enough or not, I ask myself this. Would Salvador Dali like it? <laughs> Another crown. Can I tell you something? In the mind of Ginger Jane. This is Madonna's new thing. Can I tell you something? I could see you becoming like this. So could I. Yeah. <laughs> like a couple things. I know. Yeah. A couple of notches to the right. Yeah. I know. And you're doing these. I agree. I, I'm not far off. I think that's partially why I'm obsessed with like this type of weirdo stuff and Madonna and stuff. I'm like, dude, I'm like one. This is a prayer for the world. You'd be making these. I'm like a few pill addictions away from doing weird stuff. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. Like really, if I didn't have children or you or anything, like just me and drugs, that's what fucking will happen. Yeah. You'd that's be just drugs, these, yeah. dude. Right? Drugs totally. in a camera? Yeah. Pretty wild. Oh, man. It's seven in the morning. What's she doing? Putting on um, eyelashes. It's seven in the morning. <laughs> Just putting eyelashes on a woman in the airport. Like, at lash extensions. At 7 a.m. In the airport. It's so unsanitary. Mm. Like at fucking LAX waiting. All area. that shit I've seen. Like the craziest thing is definitely to see people trimming their nails. I think. I think so. It's That's disgusting wild to do that in public. Or filing your nails. It's crazy. I've seen it. I've seen it at the gate. I've seen it on planes. Mm -hmm. Or brushing. Even I would say brushing your hair. Yeah. And like your, you know, your dandruff and your Just hair goes on flex. other people. Yeah, yeah. It's so disgusting. You have to be a hundred percent savage to be at work. And get a twin pack of chili cheese dogs out the vending machine and eat it. Cause oh no, I got one better. A rack of rib sandwich, bro. <laughs> that is the nastiest. That's guaranteed <laughs> diarrhea. Don't like you. out of the get. You take a bite of that and your insides just pour out of you. Oh, <gasps> in a vending machine. I mean, the chili hot dog in a vending machine. Yeah, that is. Uh, yeah, that's the kind of your stomach's gonna go. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Yo. And the other one's a barbecued rack o ribs. In like I From don't, a vending machine. Fuck that. I mean, homie. When was that thing even sealed up? Dude. That shit better have Let's been. Let's talk about barrier free, or more specifically, the taboo of having fluid bonding with multiple polyamorous yes. partners. The main arguments I hear against it are well, if I have uh. a kid, I want to know who the other biological parent is. That's fair if you're trying to get pregnant. And of course, we want to minimize transmission of STIs. Side note, a positive test doesn't mean you're transmissible, so let's not get those mixed up. But yeah, to be clear, no one is saying, go forth, be reckless. Mm -mm. The thing is that a lot of us can treat fluid bonding as an indicator of who emotionally matters more. Like, I saw it that way for a long time. Even if there was transparency and testing and trust with everyone, it still hurt my feelings that they wanted that with somebody else, right? I still felt threatened. I felt disgusted. Even. Why? For me, it came from monogamy culture of still wanting a form of exclusivity to signify I'm emotionally safe, right? It also came from to purity culture of being be raised to think that I should save this one special thing for the most important person. But I'm trying to divest from those schools of thought. And those motives divest, went unchallenged and unexamined for years because of the easily justifiable health concerns. Now, I'm not in the business of telling anyone how to be in the bedroom. You're grown. Choosing fluid bonding, monogamy, or polyfidelity is <laughs> poly fine. Fidelity. I just want to encourage self-inquiry, figure out why we want what we want, right? So we're not just operating on monogamous autopilot. Wow. <laughs> Did you understand half of what the fuck this broad saying? I also think that doesn't a positive STI test 
mean you're positive for that? Well, and, it means you're positive. She's saying that you won't necessarily transmit that to somebody else. But chances are you will if you're no, positive. Not necessarily. Yeah. Not necessarily. I mean, you could carry um, the herpes I virus think it's a and lot, not transmit Like, for instance, it. there's a, there's STIs that a woman can have that she, it's harder for her to transmit them to a okay, male. All right. I yeah. guess you're on poly side. Well, I follow here. this account every day. So I... <laughs> I'm sorry. I, thank you for thank you for educating me. Yeah, That's and what also they say. it feels like she's just working out her own shit on TikTok, right? Big, like they this all is are, all yeah. just all her inner dialogue that she thinks really needs to <laughs> go to the masses. Yeah. 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 Well, one of the biggest times that women feel horny is when they can't have it. When you ain't chasing them down, that makes women well horny. <laughs> it's a very cool video. That should like that. Yeah. His ceiling is so low. Very low. I don't know where he is. Is he in a garage? That's I don't a know where he is. Bright light on him too. He lit himself up well. <laughs> He's a handsome dude. I feel like I feel like I'd be like, oh yeah, you're safe to come in, and then I'd hear him talking like, oh shit, we got a wild one. <laughs> I know because generally the whacked out ones don't look this handsome. Mm -hmm. So it was it was a little confusing for me at first. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, he, you probably felt kind of horny when you saw this. <laughs> Super horny because you're not chasing him. Super horny. He's he's not he's not chasing. He's got that cool accent too, where it's like he barely read, but he. One of the biggest times that women Taunt. feel horny, horny is when they can't have it. Can't have it when you ain't chasing them down. He's cockney. That makes women well horny. Well, well horny. horny. Yeah. Yeah. He's not like he's he didn't go to Eaton. Mm -mm. No. <laughs> so cute. You're looking at a hairless cat, and the owner is rubbing it down in coconut oil, and it looks so cute. Is that the cutest thing you've ever seen? It's pretty cute. Rubbing a hairless cat down in coconut oil. I that love is pretty it. cute. I want you to do this for me, babe. Oh, there's another one. Another stone being removed from a homeless person's mouth. Remember, I told you I got heavy into these. And that's fucked up. Yeah. That guy just pulled out. He didn't even like break it up. He just pulled that out. That's just build up of like plaque and stuff. Okay. That was too mean, right? <laughs> you ever wonder how they mix the tortilla? <laughs> Sanitary, huh? <laughs> well, that's melted butter, guys. That's how they make your butter. <laughs> That's what we're ending on, huh? That was a nice way to take it home. Uh, isn't that horrible? Yes. God, I never want to eat whatever that is. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, mommy, did you enjoy that highlight? Why don't you have more fun? Click around. Click here. We're here. We're here. We're here. We're here. Look. Try it out. Have more fun. Why don't you subscribe? That way, every time a video drops, you can be notified. You're not going to miss a moment of denim, okay? Try it out. Be her.